Rodney James here for Cage Side Press. I'm joined by UFC lightweight Dan Hangman Hooker. He's fighting at UFC San Antonio tomorrow night. How you doing, man? Yeah, feel good. Feel good. Yeah. I love nicknames. You got a great one. Tell me the story behind that. The Hangman. Uh, well, I keep, uh, just keep catching, catching a few nicks and then getting pretty quick submissions. And so, yeah, one of my coaches just kind of threw it around there and it's one of those things that just stuck. And it's hard to run from the hooker as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, uh, so is that your favorite way to win, to, to finish a fight is by submission? Is that what you would prefer to do? I mean, obviously you want to get the win anyway, but if you had it, if you had your choice, submission is the way you I like see, to win. I actually enjoy it, man. I think like a nice quick, quick, and then a nice clean choke. I feel like a real nice, clean, well set up, well timed choke is like a beautiful way to finish. And it's like a bit... Um, I a agree. bit under-respected, like people are like, oh, that's unfortunate. It's like, no, nah, that's like, that's, everyone got out, no one got hurt. Yeah, I, I think true fans and, and martial artists agree with you that, you know, it, it is a spectacular thing to witness. And, and I think it's, it's more dominant because it's, it's less, most of the time it's less controversy. Occasionally you'll see some controversy with a, with, with a submission like, oh, did he tap or was he out? You know, like Robbie Lawler with Ben Askren, like uh, Michael Chiesa with Kevin Lee. But there's a lot more controversy with early TKO stoppages, you know. So I, I heard that you didn't know about San Antonio before coming here. Is that any truth to that? Yeah, know, oh, I didn't know where where Vance was. Or I, <laughs> How dare you, sir? Hey, hey, hey I've been here. I've been asked. Uh, you know, I've been asked four times if uh, if we speak English in New Zealand. <laughs> so, uh, That's crazy. <laughs> so, uh, hey, as a New Zealander, are you a big rugby fan? Yeah, yeah. Well, I think that just comes comes with the territory. You know, yeah. As a as a New Zealander, you just support the All Blacks, and you, uh, yeah, it's just a national national sport. I love it, man. I love it. That's a bucket list for me that I've yet to go out there to witness. <laughs> Did you ever play? Yep, I played. I uh, grew up in school, rugby union, and uh, mainly rugby league, which oh, is like a, a, yeah. a different style. So I played rugby league uh, mainly growing up. You seem like a faster guy, so rugby league for you is probably is probably better. For me, I played union. I was a, for, I was a forward. You know. yeah, 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 I was a locker. What, what position oh, did yeah. you play? Uh, so for me, yeah, I was on the wing, and then uh, yeah, that, that's about what play, I thought. Play fullback, and yeah, nice and fast. You're a fast guy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. So you got a really tough guy in front of you. Yeah, big, long, tall guy. Um, I mean, how did this matchup come together? How did you feel like when they first presented it to you? What were your thoughts on, hey, I'm going to fight James Vick? I mean, obviously, you said yesterday in the media scrum that coming off that Barbosa fight, which was brutal, you know, but it also kind of made uh, an instant legend out of you for your durability. Um, this one puts you right on track to get get back to the top or get back in the mix. Yeah, well, that's what I uh, kind of seen. As soon as I seen his name, I was like, this this puts me back in the mix. Like, um, I feel like a lot of people don't, you know, when, when James was ranked number 10, there was a lot of guys avoiding fights with him, and that's for a reason, and that's because he's a dangerous guy. And that's kind of why I jumped from being ranked out of 14 and 15 to getting Barboza, who was five, is, is because all those guys in between, they don't want to take the fight. So it's, they seem to, UFC matches me up with a dangerous guy. I've never turned down a fight, so they know that, so they, they give me the guys. Good, good, yeah. You know, we see that happen a lot with the lightweight division, and, and James Vick actually was a guy who was very vocal about that because for a long time he was outside of the top 10. He was trying to break into that top 10, and he had the same problem. A lot of guys just didn't want to risk their position and, and get in there and fight him. Yeah, oh, that kind of happens when you, when you knock people out. People tend to avoid you. So. <laughs> or when you're the hangman. Yeah, yeah. the hangman, apparently. <laughs> All right, that's Dan Hangman Hooker. UFC San Antonio, July 20th, AT&T Center. I cannot wait. This car is phenomenal. I don't know who's more excited, me or, or Dan. <laughs> Probably me, because I don't have to get in there with James Vick. <laughs> Rodney James for Cage Side Press. I thank you so much for your time, sir.